Hey guys, and welcome back to Persona 5 Royal. In the last episode, we went to Hawaii. And in today's episode, um, you'll find out what happens. Anyways, we're gonna give our plants some mega fertilizer. And we are forced to sleep. Something I don't want to talk to you about. Never mind, you should probably get some rest. Don't worry, it's nothing important. Alright. Hey, sis. You just got back from your trip and you're already studying? How diligent. I have souvenirs for you. The principal of Shujin Academy has passed away. Huh? He suddenly stopped while crossing the road and was struck by a large vehicle. Death by external trauma. They say suicide seems to be a strong possibility. Principal Kobayakawa committed suicide? But would someone about to kill themselves try to go to the police station? He even used a taxi to get there. Do you mean this might be another incident? Even if he had a sudden shift in his state of mind, it's still unnatural. I can only suspect that he had a change of heart. Are you saying he was targeted by the Phantom Thieves? But that's impossible! How are you so certain? W well uh, in prior cases, the changes of heart seem to be done to make people confess their crimes. It's hard to explain, but this incident seems contradictory to their usual modus operandi. Did Principal Kobayakawa seem any different to you lately? I don't really know. He rarely contacted the students, after all. I see. Could something have happened during the school trip? Oh, <sighs> you're studying. I'm sorry to bother you. Makoto? Hmm? N never mind, it's nothing. Just don't get dragged into trouble, okay? Better tell the others. <sighs> it's our first time at school in a while. Ah, I'm so sleepy. Did you get over your jet lag? I almost, I'm almost yawn. Hey, no, I'm yawning. <laughs> You over jet lag? I am. For real? That was quick. Oh yeah, never mind that. You know about this? Phantom thieves are popular now. I was surprised when we got back to Japan. People are actually paying attention to whom we're gonna target next. Ain't that amazing? I'm getting real psyched. This is where we work hard. Let's do something big again and surprise the world. Good morning. Hey, what's up, bro? The cute. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, if you're new here, make sure you uh, subscribe to the channel, smash the like button, share the video, all that good stuff. Just realized now I forgot to say it. Anyway, good morning, Amiwa Senpai and Sakamoto Senpai, correct? No, only you call me. Oh, morning. You're back today too, huh? Yes. It's good to see you both. Um, may I join you two on the way to school? I want to talk a bit more about the trip, and I want to hear all your stories from Hawaii. You got it. Should I start with all the heroic stuff me and this dude did for the people in Hawaii? Yes! <laughs> there you go. Bro, you got rejected by people on the beach no different than here. Um, yes, that sounds great. Huh? What about class? There's another urgent assembly. Is it true that he died? He was really taking some heat. What's happening to this school? Are we cursed? Yes. You are. This has to be about you know what, right? With the principal. Morning 
assembly. As many of you may already know, Principal Kobayakawa passed away yesterday. I wonder if that suicide rumor is for real. It happened in front of the police station, didn't it? I think I was passing through there at the time. The principal had been working hard to restore peace ever since the incident with Mr. Kamoshida. He only wished for everyone to be able to lead a normal school life. And because of that love... Love? Bullshit, he was covering something up. Everyone's been talking about it. Maybe it wasn't suicide. Do you think the Phantom Thieves took him down? The Phantom Thieves? Do they kill people? I mean, Kamoshida did say he was gonna kill himself to make up for everything he did. That would be amazing! Either way, it serves that principle right. Hell no! We didn't do jack shit! Are people gonna blame us for this, too? I would like to see everyone live up to our late principal's wishes as proud Shujin students, and... <sighs> I had noticed traces of tampering. Does that mean you truly took the data from my laptop? No matter how I think about it, that would have been impossible unless Makoto was helping you. But she would never do something so foolish. And is it true that you were completely uninvolved with the Kobayakawa case? What does this mean? <sighs> but I suppose targeting someone at Shujin again and actually taking their life would be nonsensical. I have no reason to believe everything you've said. However, it seems you aren't the type of person who would lie just to protect themselves. I will acknowledge what I must. It's more efficient that way. In any case, let's move on to the topic at hand. If you saw my investigation data, you would have had the same suspicions I did about Okumura. And if you looked into his palace, you should have seen the answer to those suspicions. Tell me, what did the Phantom Thieves do to Okumura? What did you learn from him? Why did it turn out as it did? I need you to tell me everything. Before we talk about the data we got from Sis, we need to discuss the incident with the principal. People are already talking about it online. Nobody's saying it's because of the Phantom Thieves. So far. People think he did it because that tabloid exposed how he was covering up Kamoshida's abuses. Could it be that we're responsible for Principal Kobayakawa's suicide? What do you mean? If we hadn't changed Kamoshida's heart, maybe this never would have happened. But then Kamoshida would have kept doing what he did if we didn't go and take him down. There's a lot of opinions online. It's only natural that he died, covering up crimes is wrong. The comments I've seen are similar as well. Only the Phantom Thieves are on our side. I wish the Phantom Thieves would take down the police and the politicians of this country. It's not just the news. There's even Phantom Thieves merchandise now. I never expected we'd end up such a big deal. It seems like the public would rather believe in us than in the adults. People are trying to get the Phantom Thieves to solve societal problems, not just personal ones. This is kind of scary. Are we really doing the right thing? I mean, the principal was covering stuff up, right? I guess... He got what was coming to him. That's... <clears throat> Whoa, guys, let's get back on topic. Weren't we going to discuss the data we obtained from Nijima? You tell them, Inari. Why me? 
First, Prosecutor Nijima has been looking into the continued cases of people suddenly collapsing. It seems she is searching for a common thread to tie them all together. Some parts seem to be speculation, but she has cited a beneficiary of the majority of these incidents. The corporation Okumura Foods, more prominently its CEO, Kunikazu Okumura. Okumura? I feel like I've heard that name somewhere. From Big Bang Burger. Big Bang Burger? For real? You know, they only got famous sometime in the past few years. They even had a branch in Hawaii. It says here they benefited both from scandals and the resignations of their competitors' executives. That would seem to be the case. This is too suspicious, though. Only one CEO is profiting from these seemingly accidental incidents. I think it's natural to suspect he's intentionally causing them. I get that, but still... We have even more evidence than that. Tell them, Futaba. They already tried putting Okumura's name in the NAF. He has a palace for sure. That settles it then! He's totally our next target! That's right. Okumura is at the top of the rankings, after all. Hold on. That doesn't necessarily mean he's evil. If we jump into this too carelessly... Beyond that, this Phantom Thieves fad is... unsettling. Yeah... the excitement levels don't feel normal. We might want to let things calm down a bit first. You too, Han? You're just gonna go against what people want? Huh? No, but... For real? L looks like we're not gonna agree today, then. Sheesh, some team you are. What's with all the hesitation? I can't stand this. Even you, Ryuji. You just back down the second someone disagrees with you. What? I guess all you've been talking about is using the Phantom Thieves' name to pick up girls anyway. Being hyped up because of the popularity is fine, but getting conceited over it is unacceptable. Hey, aren't you acting for your own benefit here too? My appearance might have changed, but I'm still an admirable human. At the very least, I'm more admirable than some carnal blonde monkey. You little... Fine. I can take on some small-time target like Okumura on my own. Sorry, but it looks like I'll be getting the credit for solving the mental shutdown mystery. Well, she was more useful than you, as a matter of fact. Hey, that's inexcusable! I'm going to show you who the useless one actually is. All right, then. Bring it on! Ryuji, stop! Looks like I don't belong here after all. Well, this is goodbye. Uh, Morgana, wait! See you. What a useless clown. I'm human. I have to be. <sighs> All right. I've managed by myself before, and I can do it again now. I just need to take down Okumura before those guys do. Huh? That kitty? I can't believe this. The public believes in the justice of the Phantom Thieves. They have no interest in that principle. I'm experiencing equal levels of frustration. My comments on TV turned everyone against me. Then again, I won't allow mere criticism to break my spirit so easily. We won't keep letting ourselves be defeated either. My suspicion after the hacker's case last month is now conviction thanks to the principal's death. The mental shutdown cases and the psychotic breakdowns are surely the Phantom Thieves doing. I remember the data you showed me about Akumara Foods. Is that the basis for these beliefs? There have been frequent occurrences of mental shutdowns surrounding Okumura recently. If only there was a clear connection between him and the Phantom Thieves. Well, it would be problematic if there wasn't one. So, you're jumping the gun here. 
You really told a man you would terminate his parental authority based purely on your speculation? I'm surprised you would say such a thing to the owner of a cafe you frequent. It's all for the sake of the case. You may have the backing of the SIU's director, but you've been far too aggressive, Sai-san. You're trespassing into police territory. Don't say nobody warned you if this becomes an issue later. My superiors told me the same thing. We first need to know what methods the Phantom Thieves are using. The police can't make a move unless that becomes apparent, after all. This opponent can't be caught by following the rules. What need is there to stick to formalities? So, you wish to ignore protocol in order to reform society. I hope you realize that's no different than what the Phantom Thieves are doing. It's a shame. Especially since we both want to capture the culprit behind the psychotic breakdowns. I really messed up. Shall we dispose of it? Leave it be. We do not have time to waste on a solitary feline. Is this really impossible alone? Dang, Mona just got roasted too. What? I can't. Mona just got see. roasted. Who's there? Esther. Anyways. Hey, have you seen Morgana? Nope. Not sure you look for him. I want to, but maybe we're worrying too much. I just kind of expected he'd come home when he got hungry. Oh, maybe he went to someone else's place. Let's ask. Morgana's still not back. Huh? He hasn't come home yet? The food's still in his bowl. Do you really think he just took off like that? He's a cat, so it's possible he got into an accident. Does he really seem to be the type who would go off and die on us like that, though? No, not really. It's just been one day. Y'all are worrying too much. That's easy for you to say. We I mean, really should kick Ryuji off the team. He's probably off just doing his own stuff. I mean, he used to live alone, remember? Just don't worry about it. I'm sure he'll come back if something happens. You suck, man. Aren't they all being way too cold about this? Yeah, they are. Oh, well. Have a good day. Hey, sis. There's no one like the Phantom Thieves. Oh my god. I don't buy that our principal's death is an accident. I think the Phantom Thieves killed him. You think the Phantom Thieves murdered him? Why? Think about uh, Kamashita's victims. The principal's just as guilty about keeping quiet for it all. People who take advantage of others, their own personal gain, disappear. In fact, we need the scumbag cleansing to purify the world. Ah, oh, that's disappointing. Yesterday, my wife threw out one of my books without asking me. The Akuma away, and it was even signed. But there's a logical management skills. He revived his company that was on the verge of bankruptcy. Good for him. Then he started Big Bang Burger, a bold creative uh, venture. The Kumar's words are philosophy and life itself. How could he she sell it to a secondhand shop? But in times like these, getting one's mind to switch gears is key. Wouldn't you agree on me, my boon? Secondhand shop is mostly meant for sales of goods and supporting shared causes, you know but answer? what does a pawn shop offer that a secondhand shop doesn't? Uh, money loans for collateral. This is it. Very good. 
thrift stores are comparatively less focused on money management, but larger businesses could donate unused stock to them and use them as a tax right off that way. It takes incredible business uh, acumen to figure out how to be both profitable and charitable all at once. I feel like I got a little smarter because Mona isn't here to say we did. I just remember there are rumors that Prisoner Okuma may be get, getting in the politics. It is true that the current administration is incompetent in a number of ways. I would love to have a ch uh, charismatic man like him leading the country. Yeah, okay. They're all corrupt. But alright, you do you. Hey, come straight home when school's over, okay? Okay. Yay, let's wait together in case Mor Morgana comes home. Wonder what's up with Morgana though. He should just hurry up and come back. He should. Sure he'll come back when he gets hungry. On to our next story. Late last night, multiple glass windows were found shattered at the Okumura Foods corporate headquarters. Other damages have also been reported, including the destruction of a statue depicting Mr. Okumura. Hmm. I wonder if someone's got a grudge against that guy. However, there were no signs of a break-in. Identifying the culprit is expected to be difficult. Is that true, Kitaba? He did say he'd go alone. Does that mean he's in danger? The chances of that are highly likely. Yeah, we should all go out in after him. The palace is most likely at their corporate headquarters. I'll look into it a little more. Alright, let's do it. We gotta look into those mental shutdown things too. I prefer a little more caution, but this is an emergency. Then we will go tomorrow. Don't forget, everyone. And we can't do anything. Boomer of Boots. But the guy in the rankings? Apparently the windows at their offices got busted. Whoa, what happened? That's scary. Was it the Phantom Thieves? Uh, no way. I wouldn't put it past them. I can't stop watching news about the Phantom Thieves. Hilarious. So about the next target. I heard my sister's boyfriend got a calling card. Why don't you put a request into the Phantom Thieves? 
Man, this place sucks. My boss is just the worst. Impossible. All he does is dump overtime on me when he dashes off right at five. I wish the Phantom Thieves would work their magic on him. What would that be like if they changed his heart? Well, they say you become the opposite of how you normally are. So, I guess he'd become uh, more open minded and uh, communicate better and start taking initiative. He'd basically be as awesome as the president of Okumura Foods. Please, Phantom Thieves, please make this happen. Headquarters of a large corporation, after all. If anything, getting into the real building is impossible. Mona seriously went to a palace based on somewhere like this? It's definitely on a different scale than the ones we've dealt with previously. I searched Okumura online. He's totally up to something. Don't you think he's guilty too? I'm positive I'm right. We're here for Mona. I know, I know. We gotta make sure we squeeze the juice on those mental shutdown things out of him too. You said you found the palace keywords, right, Futaba? The corporate HQ is outer space. Huh? The hell? Oh, so that's why it's called Big Bang Burger. Big Bang is space lingo, you know? Um, not necessarily. So the concept behind the store branch name came from the CEO himself. Outer space, hmm? How exciting. We better be able to breathe once we get in there. Is everyone ready? I'm activating it now. Oh no. Oh no. Well, boys, we're screwed. We are caught right handed. You're already considered threats? President Okumura must be on guard, what with everything that's been in the news. That bastard. He's just causing more trouble for us. Whoa. It's as though we're in a film. I wish I had brought my sketchbook. Hey. Mine might be somewhere in there. Yeah. Come on, we gotta go look for him. Hold on. There we go. You don't have to worry about personas or anything. That and the Velvet Sisters aren't even here right now. Hey. Hmm? What's this? Let's see here. It looks like a lever for an elevator to me. And it should be working now. For real? You're amazing, Oracle. <laughs> that was nothing. It's certainly reassuring having you with us. Anyway, let's try using the elevator. Oh yeah, this palace sucked by the way. You see the worst palace in the game. Easily the worst palace in the game. Hmm? Hmm? What's all that noise? What is that? Robots? There are tons of them. They all have the Big Bang Burger logo. They're saying something. You must adhere to your shifts. If you don't like it, you can quit. However, you will not be compensated. What are they talking about? Oh. They said it's being disposed of. 
These robots are part of Okumura's cognition, correct? That means they represent... This is pure speculation, but this is most likely how the workers of Okumura Foods are viewed by their CEO. So he thinks they're his robots? If they're treated like this in reality as well, then the company truly is exploiting them. See? Okumura is a piece of shit, just like I said! Mona is our main objective here. He doesn't seem to be anywhere nearby. Let's search further in. Damn it. Come on, Ryuji. Wonder what Mona's doing in here. We need to find him fast. Yeah, alright. I have something. Huh? What? Hold on a second, Joker. The door is closed. Is there any way by which we can open it? Performing biometric authentication. This is... What does it mean by that? Authorization error. Only registered personnel may proceed past this point. Oh, this is... This, is, this security system might be a bit of a problem. What the hell's up with this? Look at it. There's no way we can force that thing open. We've hit a blockade quite early. But we have to control the real Okumura's cognition to pass. Oh, that means Mona hasn't been able to proceed any further either. So if he's here in the palace, he would have to be somewhere before this door. Hold, vigilante! Who's that? <sighs> That chick's mask is black. Uh oh. She be? A black mask? Wait, is she the one Madarame and Kanashiro were talking about? So, she's the reason for all those people going brain dead? It was a girl this whole time? <sighs> Are you That's the pretty sucks, it's not us? gonna lie. Say something, damn it! <laughs> Enough of your misunderstandings. Mona, you're okay. Long time no see, Panther. Uh, hasn't been that long. If you came for the treasure, you should just go home with your tail between your legs. Actually, we were looking for you. The treasure will be taken by me, and this... This beauty thief. Beauty thief? Excuse me. Mona simping for other girls now? Whoa, dang. Never saw that one coming. Wow. I'll have you know she's a Persona user too. My name is Beauty Thief. She really called herself that? Uh, any tension that was in the air has just gone out the window. Take the treasure! Mona already said that. You are not qualified to be phantom thieves. Do you even understand what it means to be a phantom thief? An admirable phantom thief is... Yeah, tell them! You! What do you think it means? No good, I say. Enough with the idle chit chat. You started it. Mona, who the hell is she? Wait, I'll fix this. You. Uh, me? Learn to take a hint. Huh? And you, you're very vulgar and very stupid. What? Um... What was it again? You came all the way here just to say that. I don't know. Kind of feels like she ain't dangerous at all. 
We will take the treasure. You already said that. We don't have time to chat. No point. It won't open. Don't underestimate us. Behind you! Here they come. Huh? Huh? Snap out of it. We need to go. We'll meet up later at our usual spot. Let's hurry. you're tired uh, that was quite rough i haven't felt exhaustion like this since i first awakened to my persona what have you been looking at all this time sorry i just didn't want to stand around and wait the burglary at okumura foods is circulating the news again oh, damn it why'd they keep coming after only me because Little Miss Beauty Thief opened that door. That door most likely had a biometric authentication lock. So how'd she get it to open? I wonder who that girl could be. We were told that she's a Persona user, correct? Do you believe it's true? Well, she did look like one. Did Mona betray us? I want to believe that, too. I don't think he's betrayed us. If he had, it'd make more sense for him to directly threaten us, such as exposing our identities. Either way, how the hell's Morgana related to that beauty thief? Considering her tone and physique, she looked about our age. I feel like I've seen her somewhere. Uh, for real? Where at? At school? I think? Wait, what? But now that you mention it, I feel like I've seen her too. Is she a student of Shujin? I just feel like that's the case. She did have a mask on after all. The registry in the student council room has photos of every student. Let's check them all tomorrow. If we can figure out the identity of the beauty thief, that may help us regain contact with Morgana. Futaba and I should further probe into Okumura Foods, then. It'd be best if we investigate how sudden mental shutdowns are connected to them. We're gonna take them down. Things are really starting to heat up online. People are going on and on. Bashing Gokumara foods. Apparently, they've been secretly using low quality ingredients brought in from overseas. Furthermore, any employees who were suspicious of Gokumara were let go without reason. That coupled with the mysterious death of a rival company's CEO. What's this all of a sudden? Things are going up in flames. I don't really get what kicked it off, though. People have been coming after us, too. They think we should just hurry up and punish him. Uh, that's irresponsible. They're just acting like spectators or something. It wasn't like this just a few days ago, though. Could there perhaps have been a whistleblower from within? Come on, we got even more reason to kick Okumura down now, man. Do we really accept all this information as truth, though? Either way, we need to do something about Morgana. Yep, anyways. See ya all tomorrow. Alrighty, so, again, can't do anything. Quite literally, my bag is empty. Who exactly is the beauty thief? I should go to bed early so I can investigate tomorrow. Okay, whatever you say, Joker. What a waste of time. Mona's making us waste a week, basically. Okay. 
Cormorant Boots again. Did something happen? They're getting sued. Apparently something uh, pretty shady. I mean, how they just screwed their employees for the sake of profit? If he's that corrupt, then he deserves to be targeted. This is where the Phantom Thieves should come in. Have you checked out the fan site? Oh, Kumar's at the top of the list. Whoa, the CEO of Big Bang Burger? Why? Apparently, they're really crappy to their employees. They never pay overtime, yet work people had hard enough. Yeah, work people hard enough that one actually died. I also heard that a uh, pretty mad former employee is the one who trashed her corporate entrance. There's a lot of terrible rumors about them, including that they strong arm their competitors. Aye, yikes, I just ate there yesterday. I never really thought about how much they made. I never really thought about how they made so much food for so cheap. Oh, nothing weird's mixed in. Uh, I do not know what to tell you. All I know is I definitely ate. <laughs> Who might have gotten diabetes? Would someone normally call themselves beauty thief? I bet more Gonimator say it. Uh, it's still a weird thing to say, even if she told her to. But they lied about her being able to use a persona too. We don't know what that is and you a lie then. But we didn't see her use one. No matter how you slice it, she's totally just an amateur. Yeah, don't like your dark gun. Don't think we gotta worry about that, dude. You can't take her lightly. She has Morgana on her side, remember? I agree with Katana. At the very least, they're one step ahead of us. True, an amateur would not have been able to open that gate. They literally figured something out. Figured out something that we don't know. We need to uncover the identity of that nice girl. If it's a biometric authentication lock, then that means that she's somehow related to a Kumar, which I have. Man, this girl's hot! Okay, oh, well. She's younger than me. Ryuji! Ryuji! No way! She's the same age as me? She looks like my dad's friend. Get back to work. Why don't we take a break? It's no surprise our concentration is waning. Even if it's only the female students, there are easily hundreds of them. They're all starting to look the same to me. Think we can really find her? Someone sure is confident. Hmm? This girl! Haru Okumura. <gasps> Okumura? Wasn't the beauty thief like this too? Especially the fluffy hair. That's gotta be her. It would also explain how she got past the door's biometric reader. This may be worth looking into. But why was she at the palace? We could just make her spill the beans herself. She may have already gone home for the day, so let's try tomorrow. I'm gonna lock up. I'll see you all tomorrow. Such a nice guy. You're a second year, aren't you? That makes me just a tad older. Wait a second, our roof is um, a garden now? Have we met somewhere before? 
What did our read turn into a guardian? I'm Haru Okumura, correct? The only daughter of Kunikazu Okumura, CEO Come of the Come on, Mikoto, you ruined my moment. Why you were inside your father's palace? Oh, so that's where we met. Wow, you figured it out in just a day. You looked really good in that biker gang outfit. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> so, why did you become a phantom thief? <sighs> My father's highly regarded as a manager, but I had various doubts about him. Things have grown quite serious lately. That's why I want to make amends, even though it may only be for my own satisfaction. But I wonder if this is just running from the problem. Where did you meet Morgana? It was pure coincidence. I found a lonely looking cat in front of our office building. And that was Morgana? Mm-hmm. And when I followed him, I ended up in the metaverse. There's no way for me to change my father's company. But if I became a phantom thief, I thought I'd at least be able to change him. Isn't there any way we can work together? I can't cooperate with people who don't know what they want to do. What you're doing is unnecessarily causing a stir among the public. Besides, the phantom thieves who should be helping the weak are not helping their own teammate. I just want my father to atone for his crimes and help Monachan, who gave me a chance to do just that. But aren't our objectives the same? It'd be better if we were. No, thank you. I will do this with Monachan and him alone. Well, Rick. She hit quite a sore spot. We don't know what we want to do, huh? It seems getting her cooperation won't be possible. Let's consult with the others on our next move. You shouldn't ignore Morgana either. I'm home, father. Drive them away. That's right. Make it a priority. Uh, I finally get a foothold into politics and this happens. Phantom thieves? Huh. Did the media ask you anything? No, not at all. Um, what's this about phantom thieves? It seems I'm ranked first on the forum of these so-called phantom thieves. Is it because of the news coverage? It's jealousy of the successful. Nothing but the barks of the masses who lack the resolve to sacrifice what's needed for their well-being. Both the young and the old are overjoyed with some foolish idols. This country has no future. What if they do exist? What if these phantom thieves really can steal hearts? Are you still having doubts about me? No. More importantly, I hope things are going well with that young man. Yes, father. Very well, then. He may not seem like it, but he's still the son of an influential politician. Be cordial with him. He'll eventually become a necessary connection for this company. Or rather, for me. I understand. I will do the best I can. Good. That's how a daughter of Okumura should be. That's pretty messed up. This is all the uh, actual Kumra's fault, right? Why are the Phantom Thieves letting him go? Why bother with the rankings? Hurry up and take him out. I'm disappointed. What kind of heroes are they? Just get a move on and send a calling card already. Jeez, come on. Hey, I found some weird comments on Nishimakun's website. They were thanking us for resolving requests that we didn't actually complete. Um, probably just a prank. But those requests are indeed resolved. 
someone must be going into my mid so that there's not. Obviously, I think it's Morgana. Agreed, he's probably taking the beauty beach with him too. We should look into this. I was thinking of persuading Okumura-san at school, but she's been avoiding me. How are we gonna look into this then? We'll take out mementos. Uh, um, I want to get all Marley. I'll depend on one on the beauty thief. The method is indeed a classic one, but it's a safe bet. Yeah, I think it's better than just looking for them randomly. I'm gonna have all sorts of snacks. No teachers have stopped me on this field trip. Well, if I don't get this all over with. Let's do it tomorrow. Let me guess. I should go to bed early to prepare for the steak on mementos tomorrow. Figures. I can't believe it. Isn't it a little strange that Okumura is the, that Okumura is the top boat? I mean, there are a ton of other companies that do the same thing. Maybe they're singling him out for all the praise he gets? Besides, there are a bunch of strange rumors starting to surface about his company. Oh, you mean like all that stuff happening to his competitors? Why are they playing the sad music even for this? Don't tell me you'd buy that occult BS. I'm sure it's just a coincidence. Hi, everyone. How's everyone doing? Worn out from your trip? Come on, you're young. Hawaii doesn't even count as only a foreign country. It's all a Japanese forest. I bet you were able to speak Japanese whenever you did, weren't you? The shopkeepers will use Japanese to pressure you to find things if your life depends on it. I'm used to- I'm used to it though, so I actually uh, haggle with them in English. Mr. Amiya, show me how much you know your English. Let's hear it. What's one of the supposed origins of the phrase, Cat got your tongue? Uh... Uh, I don't know this one. Cat's eating him in This is it. Good. In ancient Egypt, it's said that the tongues of liars and blasphemers were cut out and to bed to cats. It's also possible it came from the pirates' cattle nine cables, leaving a prisoner too stung to talk. These are actually a lot of other expressions involving cats. <laughs> of course we knew that. Come on. Why wouldn't we know it? A cat has nine lives, for instance. I don't like to help cats seem capable of surviving all kinds of dangers, even ones you'd expect to kill them. Oh, it's no surprise. Man, it's crazy how many people want us to change the heart of the Kumarhu D.O. I mean, uh, he's doing tons of shady crap. Sounds like everyone's expecting us to take him down. Come on, we gotta do this. I'm game. Heck yeah. That aside, does everyone remember the thing, okay? Yeah, we were told to hold a stake out in mementos. You think they're gonna show? We'll just have to wait until they do. For real. We can't go back until we make up with Morgana. 
I'm sure they'll come. I hope you're right. Uh, I'm sure they'll come. Anyways. That's gonna do it today. For Persona 5 Royal. Hope to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.